Hi everyone. I just wanted to come back with a quick haul of things that I picked up when I was in London. I went to, I didn't really buy that much, I thought I would buy more. Um, I went to MAC, I went to Liberty and picked up something from Diptyque and I went to The Great Frog London which I've talked about a million times, it's one of my favourite shops. So I just wanted to show you what I picked up so that I can put it away. So let's start with MAC. Oh. Let's start with MAC. I think I'll tip everything out and then I don't need to rummage in the bag. This isn't the most exciting haul in the world because a lot of it is just things that I needed. So the first thing I picked up was the Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light. I'm sure that's no surprise to you that I am the shade Light. So it has new packaging, it's got a mirror now and it's just a face powder. I love this face powder, I've used it for quite a long time and I've fallen in love with it again recently. I just wanted to pick up a new one because I'm going away on holiday and it means that I can just take this and use I can just take this and use the mirror for applying my makeup. I then got sucked in by the mineralized blushes. It happens to me all the time because I am obsessed with them and I picked up the blush in the shade New Romance. It's a really light peach with a lot of golden shimmer and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I actually have already used this because I couldn't wait. So, oh, it's just so gorgeous. Let me see if I can do a swatch and show you. I don't know if you can even see that, but oh my god, it is so gorgeous. And that, oh, that's in the shade New Romance, if I didn't mention that. Next, I picked up my concealer. And this is the MAC Mineralize Concealer in the shade NC15. Love this concealer. Needed a new one. I think it might be my favourite concealer. I've not decided yet because I'm on the quest for the perfect concealer always. But I love Mineralize. It's just not too drying for my skin and I love it. Another mineralized product. This is full of mineralized but I wanted to pick up the MAC Mineralize Charged Water Moisture Eye Cream. This comes in this little pot and I've been thinking about getting this for a while. I needed a new eye cream and I normally use the Origins Eye Doctor but I wanted to try something different and I'd heard that this was really good so I've picked it up and I've been using it for a couple of days. I do really like it, it's a different texture, I thought it was going to be a gel texture but it's a cream. It's really nice and I will let you know how I got on with it. I picked up a chicory lip pencil. I've got this on just now, this is the one I already have but I like to have 800 of them because it's my favourite lip pencil. I also picked up my MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in Red Chestnut. I love this brow set. I think this is my fourth of this. And as I said, I'm going away. So this is so easy just to brush through my brows and then I don't need to use anything else. So perfect. And then the last two things I picked up from MAC are gifts. So I will show you them, but I won't swatch them or anything. This is the MAC Amplified Lipstick in Full Fuchsia. And to go with that is the MAC Eyeshadow. I don't know why I keep specifying that everything's MAC. Um, it's the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow Quads, the 9. And it's in the shade Burgundy Times 9. So hopefully I'll have done a close-up of this and you'll be able to see it now. It's just a, some really beautiful colours. I actually really want one of these for myself. They've got so many nice shades. Such a good gift. If I do say so myself. And then she gave me two little samples while I was there of the Fall Slash Extreme Black. So I might take those away with me actually. I meant to pick up mascara but then when I came home I was looking to see if I had one and I had about 10 that weren't opened. So that's a problem. Then I went into Liberty. Side note, did you know that you can take small dogs into Liberty? So I took 
my dog Molly in with me and it was the best. I don't know why everywhere doesn't do that. They should let you take your dog everywhere. Anyway, a couple of months ago I had went into Liberty and had a smell of this perfume and it is the Diptyque O Moelle Moelle who knows tell me if you know how to say this I smelled this and I just thought it was the most gorgeous and unique scent that I had smelled in such a long time I was talking to someone this morning about this and she said she thinks that Diptyque are doing what Jo Malone used to do which is really different scent something that you're not always expecting and I would have to agree and I just think this is so unique and different. Um, I looked up, when I was looking up the notes of it, someone had described it so perfectly. I went on to Fragrantica where you can look up the notes of perfumes because I wanted to see what it was that was in this that I loved so much. And someone had described it so perfectly and they said that a summer, it's a summer's day with each spray, not a wet tropics vibe so much as a dry heat with a beachy essence to it, like a beach surrounded by sand dunes and rural farmlands. That person needs to start working for Diptyque because that is such a good explanation for this. I love it and this is the 20ml rollerball. Really it would be a better idea financially to buy the 100ml but I thought this would be perfect for going away and such a nice holiday scent. I'm obsessed. She also gave me a little sample which was really nice. Um, always nice to have a little mini of perfume. I couldn't go to Carnaby Street without popping into my favourite, the Great Frog London. And I've had my eye on this piece for quite some time. Here it is in its little pouch. And I actually, when I bought this piece, this is the large Navajo ring. When I bought this, I had actually went in to buy this, so I went in with my, I took my dad to London and we went in and, and for my birthday he picked me up the Indian head chief, the Indian chief skull ring. I can't remember the proper name of it, but you'll hopefully be seeing it in a close up right now and I am just obsessed with it. I think it is gorgeous. Oh. I mean, probably gorgeous is the wrong word. I think it is so cool. I love him. And I just think this piece is so, so nice. I'm obsessed. Also, I haven't done a close up of this, but for my birthday, my aunt and uncle brought me back a ring. They went on a cruise around the Baltics and they brought me back this ring and I think it is so gorgeous. It's burnished amber set in silver. Isn't that so, so gorgeous? And I love it. So I'm running out of space on my fingers. I think I might have to get an operation to add more fingers so that I can buy more rings. So that is it. That is everything that I picked up over the past month. And now I can put it all away. <laughs> I did do a June favourites video before I went away but I done a June favourites and a favourite masks video went to upload them onto my computer and they were gone so I intensely screamed about that for an hour and then decided there was nothing I could do so July favourites is coming your way and thank you for watching and subscribing I've had a couple of new subscribers lately so that's really nice thank you so much for watching and leaving lovely comments as some of you have been and I will speak to you again soon. Bye!